Hi, everybody. How are you guys? Cool. Thank you uh, for laughing already at my voice. I appreciate it. Um, this is how I'm going to sound the entire time. So, uh, I've, been living, I've been living in this city for a while. Man, what a party. You know, um, it's very expensive, though. The rent goes up every single year for no real reason at all. Every year, a landlord knocks your door and is like, wow, you're still living in there? Oh, I guess we made last year too easy for you, huh? They should really change the slogan of this city, but like, if you can make it here, you could have owned land in a lot of other places. You could have had a house and a boat and a real family. Why are you doing this to yourself? And if you ask people, they're like, well, the pizza's good. I want to know where the pizza's that bad that this is the option. Pizza's just bread, sauce, and cheese. It's hard to fuck it up. There's only two levels of pizza. Great and fine. Completely okay. I've never had a slice of pizza so bad. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. It's out of my face. Everybody, everybody in this room has had microwave pizza, okay? It's absolutely disgusting, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it is very expensive to live here, right? And I guess that's basically because there, there are things to do in New York and, and people to have sex with, you know? That's the cost of doing business. The smaller place is, less there is to do, less people are have sex with, the cheaper that place is. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but I assume if you wake up in the middle of Wyoming and you find 20 bucks, you're like, oh, June's figured out. And you just go back to bed and dream about the pool you're gonna buy and somebody's like, you see this land? It's yours. Everything the sun touches, right up until the elephant graveyard. And then, but then you go on Tinder and it's just you, you, you. You, tractor, nothing. <laughs> nothing to do. I think that's also why people in really small towns have kids when they're real young, you know? Because there's nothing, there's nothing to do. Like, people in really small towns must just wake up one day and look at each other and be like, look, I don't know. <laughs> you want to go see the trees again? <sighs> We've already seen the trees. We counted them, we measured them. Well, we could make new people and show them the trees. Uh, um, I don't know, man. I, I, this probably only happens here in this city. I just had to get a new apartment because uh, there were rats in um, in my ceiling. Has anybody has anybody ever lived below rats? <laughs> Have you ever heard rats above you having a better life? <laughs> I told the landlord, I go, hey man, there's rats in the ceiling. He goes, I'll get to it. <laughs> only in New York is rats a back burner issue. <laughs> If this was the Midwest, somebody would show up with guns like, where are they? <laughs> Blow the ceiling apart. If only rats knew their power, man. They could just take the whole city, you know? Two rats got me out of a full apartment. They could just take every... Like if a bunch of rats got on top of each other and started walking at you on a train platform, what are you gonna do? You gonna kick a stack of rats? I doubt it. We'd all be like, my wallet, my keys, take it. I only got this apartment too because when I first moved here, I didn't have any money or credit or anything, right? So I, I asked the landlord if I could pay cash. And he goes, yeah, you can pay cash, but if anything happens, it's your problem. And I was like, well, what could possibly happen? <laughs> I'm so surprised I was even able to get an apartment in cash because this is the thing that people don't tell you about New York. There are no rules at all, nothing, there are no rules. Everything is just money. We could all drive the train tonight. Every, you just start walking to the door and they're like, you're not a conductor. You go, here's a thousand dollars. Get in there, man. Drive it hard, drive it fast. <laughs> go the other way if you want, I don't care. Tuck a thousand dollars in their pocket and leave. So now that I've been living here for a little bit, I got, I got a little bit of money and, and credit. So, so I was like, I'm gonna apply for an apartment with my name, you know? I'm gonna apply like a, like a, human, like a human man. <laughs> but when you wanna do that, when you wanna do that in this city, they want you to make 40 times a year what the rent is. <laughs> 40 times! And I'm looking at this guy like, how many months are in your year, dude? <laughs> They also walk you in apartments that people are living in. That's how they show you apartments. They don't even call ahead and ask these people to leave. They just walk into an apartment and there's people just sitting there looking at you. It's like, it's like if you wanted to check out a used car and you had to jump in it at a red light when a guy's driving by. Just burger wrappers on the floor and 
He's like, I smoke a lot of cigarettes in here. You don't have to. And when you, when you go into people's apartments, man, you see how absolutely flagrantly a lot of people live, okay? Everybody in the room, you look like decent human beings. I guarantee you there's at least five people in this room that live so disgustingly, you don't even deserve to be indoors. There's at least five people in this room that live so gross, you should be in the park fighting pigeons. I, I went into one apartment, these people, these people had a plate of gravy on the floor. Plate of gravy. We are nowhere near Thanksgiving. Plate of gravy on, the, oh, Game of Thrones is on. I'm drinking gravy. But it is that type of shit that makes a landlord go, you know what, 40 times the rent. <laughs> a lot of places said no pets too, which really sucks, because I own, I own a tiny little chihuahua. Five pounds of cold steel and sex appeal. Do you got a chihuahua? Okay. You just like them? They're pretty great, you know? Ever since Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Did you watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua? Stop. How old were you? How old are you currently? 33. 31. You went to see Beverly Hills Chihuahua. If I had the power, I'd get you kicked out of here right now. Thrown through a plate glass window. They are very cute animals. And I never thought I'd have a Chihuahua, seriously. I never thought I'd ever be buying a coat for a tiny little dog. I never thought I'd be in a store like, she'd never wear green, just pushing sweaters. Way. How did I get the Chihuahua? If anybody has any questions, just ask them now, you know? I'll answer the question. Um, how I got the... This is how I got the Chihuahua, no joke. Um, I know, I, I give off a very personal vibe. So this is how I got the Chihuahua. In the apartment with the rats that I was just talking about, when I was in there for about two weeks, no joke, somebody left her in a bag at my door. That's a real, real... I know, it's crazy, right? It's like a real Beverly Hills Chihuahua story. <laughs> um, somebody asked another question, why? Well, we can continue on with the question portion of the evening, why? Well, um, so, when I moved into this apartment, um, two weeks later, there was a dog with a note on it, and it had come from a woman, right, who was trying to leave it for her ex-boyfriend who used to live in my apartment, but he had left and she didn't knock or anything. Um, so there was just a dog at my door. I know, yes, I know it's 2019, but women can still be bad people, you know? They still be awful, awful, disgusting monsters. I know, I know that the internet is like, they're all heroes. I mean, not even sort of, but anyways. Um, so anyways, um, those, are all the, uh, those are all the questions about the dog. So a lot of places say no pets, right? And um, this is where I was at. And a lot of places say no pets. Um, and you want to get mad at a landlord, but that's our, that's our fault. We did that, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people hear pets, right? And they go, pets, like a cat or a dog. But, but some people hear pets and they go, oh, python. And then, and then one day there's a 40 foot snake roaming the halls because some cocksucker doesn't know what a fucking pet is. A pet is something that you can pet. You put your hand on its head and you pet it. It's not, it's not a creature you fight with a stick back into a cage. It's not something a wizard puts on a staff. It is. <laughs> so I, would, um, I would love to do New York again with money, you know? It seems like it'd be a good time. Um, I got, um, yeah, I got upgraded on a flight recently to first class. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else, but it's, it's a pretty great feeling yeah. yeah you as well it's good right it's a pretty great feeling and you know what the minute i sat in that first class seat i completely understood why rich people do not care about poor people you know <laughs> are you a rich oh that's how you felt because i was going i don't think you're a rich person you know i'm not trying to be you're wearing jean short oh they're not jean shorts they're just shorts all right i apologize you're a very rich person <laughs> But you did feel that, right? I mean, you sit in that seat. I felt better than everybody else. That was him, not me. Um, 
but you do, right? You sit in the seat and you get you get free drinks and free snacks. Once I could stretch my leg out, right? Once I could stretch my leg out and hit nothing in front of me, I was like, all of these people can burn. I do not care. <laughs> don't care. Even little kids that were walking through like, please, Papa. I'm like, move it to the back. <laughs> this is not your section, you know? Get in the back and drink poison water out of a sharp cup, okay? Because this is for the good people. <laughs> this is kind of why I would do anything to stay in first class. I really would. And this is why I understand now people on TV who are clearly lying just to stay rich, you know? There was a dog food company last year, right, that had to recall a bunch of dog food because it had poison in it. <laughs> that was killing dogs. And the, the CEO made a statement like, oh, the poison? I didn't know about that. I know I'm the head of the company, but that info doesn't make it to me. It'll never happen again. CEO, out. <laughs> I'm sure what he wanted to say was, look, I knew about the poison, okay, guys? But have you ever been on a yacht? I, I'm, sure that's what he wanted. I'm sure that's what he wanted to say. To stay on a yacht, I will drive to your house and choke your dog myself. <laughs> My name is Ed the Macintosh, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks.